Hello, my name is Gurugamesh. I am a member of Knights of Kador, and today I will be showing you a few things about Planetary Interaction. Now, as you know, Planetary Interaction is new with Tyrannus, and will allow you to put down infrastructure and uh, new capabil uh, some new pr uh, facilities on planets, which will, again, allow you to produce things. Uh, it's a precursor to whatever the next one is, and blah, 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 blah. So anyways, to get started today, I'm going to show you a few I'm going to show you a few skills that you're going to need. Um, obviously, it's going to be under planet management. Here's this, expand it a little bit. Okay, so the most basic skill that you're going to need is remote sensing 1. This will allow you to scan down the planet and find what you need. Um, as you level up, your range, uh, the range at which you can scan becomes greater. And it does say light years. That is not a mistake, and I will explain that later in the video. Um, the Probably the most important skill, though, remote sensing may be what you need to do the most basic of things, but command center upgrades. That This skill will allow you to upgrade your facilities. You or Well, actually, you have to buy better facilities. You can't just say, oh, I have a basic, let's upgrade it to the improved, or the standard. You have to buy it. It's a bit more expensive as you get up there, but it's better. You can do a lot more with it, and I'll compare, I'll give a comparison between a basic and advanced uh, center later on the video. Now, the next skill I'd like to show you is interplanetary consolidation. This will allow you, to, uh, per skill level, to put down a infrastructure or a command center on one additional planet. This means that if you have level 4, you can have 5 planets, level 5, 6 planets, you get the drill. Um, the other skills, advanced planetology and planetology, do the same thing, but one is, you know, it they build on each other. Planetary uh, planetology will allow you to get better scan resolution and therefore find better things and have much more accurate scans. Same thing goes for advanced planetology, it's just an expansion of planetology, as with some of the other skills in EVE. Alright, so now I'm going to go to market and show you the planetary interaction infrastructure. So what you need to do is come down here to planetary infrastructure, go to command centers, and here you can see command centers for different types. Now, an ice command center cannot be put down on, let's say, a barren planet or a plasma planet. It can only go down on ice. Same, the same principle applies to every single uh, command center on this list. So, I've already purchased my command center for later on this video, but we're, and we're going to do a plasma planet. Now, so, okay, here are the command centers. So to start off with, like I said earlier, basic is the most, well, basic. Um, it only has 6,000 power grid and 1,600 CPU. You honestly will not get much and cannot even put down a spaceport, which is very important in LOSIC uh, PI. My advice is to at least get yourself up to the improved, which is level three command, which requires level three command center upgrades. It has fifteen thousand power grid, seventeen thousand CPU. This will allow you to do much more than your basic. My preference, though, if you're not wish, if you don't wish to go out into this as a full time thing and invest all your time into it, don't worry about getting level five unless you are planning on maintaining a low-sec or null-sec facility in which you can get the absolute best materials and products. Uh, like I was say going to say though, my preference is the advanced. It comes with 17,000 power grid and 21,000 CPU. Again, much better than the basic. Um, now, each of these command centers are 800 cubic meters. This means that a battleship, anything like that, none of your combat ships will be able to carry any of this. You have to have minimum a hauler. It can be, it doesn't have to be as big as a mammoth, 
doesn't even have to be expanded. You just need to be able to carry 800 cubic meters of cargo. I would advise, though, since you are doing this and you are floating in the middle of a space, at least have a cloaking device on board. And if you plan to do this in low sec, null sec, get a transport ship. A uh, transport ship is a cloaking hauler. It can use a Tech 2 cloaking device and has better ECM capabilities, meaning you can probably get out of some pretty hairy situations. Okay, so now that we've covered all of that, I'm going to go out and find myself a plasma planet. Uh, if I can find my mouse. As you can see here, I already have the Advanced Plasma Command Center in my cargo hold, and like I said before, just a second ago, I'm going to go find a plasma planet. Now, uh, I just want to clear something up before I do this. A lot of people think that you have to buy your processors and your extractors, all the, f the little structures that you build on the planet, out of market. You do not do this. When you get to the planet, it is built there and you purchase it like that. You do not have to purchase it from market. Uh, so I just wanted to clear that up before I go out and find a planet. And here we go. Okay, so just for the sake of let's make it look pretty, I chose to warp out to an asteroid belt and show you in order to show you guys how to locate a planet of a certain type. What we're looking for right now is a plasma planet. And as you can see, they've added a few new things. You can see planet under the type column. Type The type column is what you really need to be looking at in order to locate a pla uh, planet. You can see here that whenever there's a planet, it says planet. Then parentheses, it has the planet type. In this case, on the very top, it says planet parentheses gas. We're going to go to Hostany 1. Uh, according to this, it is a plasma planet and all that. So, that's what we need. Um, yeah. So, now that we've done that, while we're in warp, I'm going to explain to you why that I said you need a cloaking device. In many places in high sec and low sec, there are suicide ganks, gate camps, all sorts of dangers that will that will really mess up any industrial pilot, freighter or otherwise. An industrial is especially vulnerable. They have the HP of maybe a frigate, maybe one and a half, and carry pretty good amounts of cargo. Um, people carrying carry around their faction ship, their faction things, faction officer modules all the time in these and get suicide ganked it's <laughs> and it's really common in Jita you may be surprised freighters go down all the time there so if you can sit here and cloak you have a much better chance of surviving while you're spending probably a good 30 minutes to set up your planet I'm not gonna spend that much time I'm gonna try and go through it really quick and I'll show you I am do a little time lapse here and there show you a few things um, all right, so here we are. We're cloaked now. Let's do this. This here is a not plasma planet. What the? That does not look right. Ah, I apologize for that, people. Here is our plasma planet. <laughs> the that that other one I think was an ocean planet. I'm sorry for that. So, as you can see here, the planet we have here isn't all that great. The little bars right here are pretty low. These bars show how much, or the, I guess, the abundance of that resource on this, on the planet. On this planet, we have pretty low abundances of base metals, heavy metals, noble metals, non-CS crystals, and suspended plasma. Let's go and get the big one. Let's get the heavy metals. So, what you want to do is click on heavy metals. What this will do is kind of just show you what what's there. Oh, I clicked on noble metals. This will scan down.